video, I'm going to demonstrate the measurement of a micronized zinc oxide sample commonly prepared for use in cosmetics such as sunscreens with a Nanobrook Omni dynamic light scattering instrument. Dry powder and droplet dispersions are used in cosmetic formulations such as foundations, colored powders, lipstick, hair colorants, day creams, and sunscreen preparations. The liquid dispersions can be water oil or oil water emulsions such as gels, creams, lotions, and sprays. Metal oxides such as iron, titanium, zinc, and silica are used in cosmetic and personal care products. Iron oxide acts as a colorant. It is found in makeup and skin care preparations. Depending on the specific type of iron oxide, its color may vary from orange, red, yellow, to black. Titanium and zinc oxide are white. They are good UV absorbers. If the particle size distribution is right, they are excellent ingredients in skin care preparations specifically sunscreens. If the size distribution is tailored correctly, they look invisible on the skin and scatter light away from it and absorb UV light, which contributes to skin cancer. We are going to perform some quality control testing on a sample of micronized zinc oxide to make sure the particle size meets quality standards before it moves to the next phase. About a spatula tip's worth of the powder has been suspended in an oil with a wetting agent. Sonic power was used to further agitate and disperse the sample within the medium. This yields a concentrated dispersed sample. One drop of this in 10 milliliters of fresh dodecane with wetting agent gives slightly turbid sample at the perfect concentration for measurement. To a glass cuvette, add the prepared sample and cap. This is now ready to be inserted into the instrument for measurement. This lid helps maintain a stable thermal environment as controlled by the software. Using particle solutions, the software package for the line of Nanobrook instruments, we will conduct a dynamic light scattering measurement. First, from this drop-down arrow, I will choose DLS measurement and click New. The new measurement window will open and we can begin setting the parameters for this measurement. Particle Solutions will load the most recently used standard operating procedure, but we would like to use a new one, so we will click on SOP. Here, we can name our sample and give a description of sample preparation, batch number, and any additional notes we'd like. We then go through each category and fill in parameters such as measurement time, temperature, and a dust cutoff. This dust cutoff ignores any outlier random spikes in the collected data to avoid their use in calculating an actual particle size. We also input information about the sample itself. In the liquid section, if the solvent is one of the nine standard liquids already in the software, choosing one will automatically update values specific to that liquid, such as refractive index and viscosity. Since we were using an oil not listed, I found its values at 25 degrees Celsius to input manually. These values are required as they are used in calculations. Once you're done filling in all the desired information, you can close the SOP and have the option to save it for future measurement use. Now we can click Start in the main measurement window. The measurement will begin and show the raw data as an autocorrelation function of the scattered light intensity due to the fluctuations arising from the diffusion of particles. Size is calculated from the diffusion coefficient. A smooth function with a flat baseline is the signature of a good sample and suggests that repeatability will be good. At the completion of each run, the results are automatically saved into the front-end database for easy access. Clicking Summary Statistics gives mean, standard error, and standard deviation of the effective diameter for three runs. In DLS graphs, we can see the multimodal distribution for each run, collectively or individually. This same graph can be viewed in 3D to better visualize the overlay. A two-variable graph can graph any two variables you'd like to see a relationship between. And finally, Health Report gives any possible insight on how to improve the measurement, such as cleaning the sample or increasing measurement time. Our measurement was healthy as no suggestions were given. If we go back to the multimodal distribution and look at an individual measurement, this data shows us two distinct peaks, one around 150 nanometers and one around 500 nanometers, as seen in the top left corner, once the cursor is the top at either peak. These are clearly resolved and give a lot of information about the sample. 
The expected size is right around 150 nanometers, but the 500 nanometers is unexpected. This could mean that the sample is dirty and has a significant amount of dust that is being detected, or that aggregation is occurring within the sample. In either case, this gives enough information to guide quality control on how to approach corrections, such as filtering the sample or dispersing better. Using particle solutions, you can print or export any piece of data you'd like in a variety of formats. There is even a report designer, where you have the option to pick and choose the information you'd like displayed in a report. The latest update to our particle solution software suite is LIMS export capability, so you can easily incorporate results into any external LIMS software to seamlessly participate with your lab's processes. I hope you have seen how useful dynamic light scattering on a Nanobrook Omni can be with sensitive samples such as cosmetics. Stay tuned for more videos where Brookhaven Instruments explores various applications. For additional information, you can visit our website at BIC.com.